my goodness. So, I finally got around to watching the Alabama video that y'all were constantly talking about. Lucas, did you see the video? Did you see the video? I'm like, I don't give a damn what the heck happened in Alabama. Until, okay, until I saw the video. And, oh, bruh, I just said a sense of pride just overwhelmed me. I uh, just, I was a shimalahaya, humalahaya. Okay, I must admit, it was good. Very, very good to see that video. Anytime I may be getting, feeling bad, you know, maybe feeling sad, I'll just go back and play that video. Anytime I see the Democrats say some goofy anti-black stuff, I'll just go back and play that video. Anytime I see the Republicans just overtly saying some anti-black nonsense, I'll just go back and play that video. And it'll just, I don't know, that video is like sun okay, to black people. It's like what the sun is to Superman. It just, ah, oh, that's what that video felt like. I'm not going to lie. And let me just say this. To all the racists out there, there are more of us than there are of you. That is correct. I did the numbers, okay? I did the numbers. I'm all about the facts, evidence, and data. And let me just say, there are more of us then there are of you, okay? And we are more younger, more athletic, more muscular. I'm just saying, more strategic. I Just just putting that out there in case some of y'all want to get froggy, okay? I'm just, just putting that out. You may want to do a double check of your surroundings. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. This video was wild. I can't show the video, you know, due to YouTube policies. But nevertheless, this video, I went, I wanted to double check. I went to triple check just so I knew what was going on. Because I'm expecting, and I'm sure the narrative's already out there. Oh, look, look at all these evil black people beating up this nice little, little white guy. Look at them. They're just savages, animals. And, you know, the longer that I've lived on this planet, okay, I have to admit, every single accusation just seems to be a confession. Every single time you get these races say, oh, oh, look at them, a uh, bunch of apes. And I'm just like, you look like more of an ape than I do, sir. Right? Every time you see these races talking about, oh, look, they just nothing but a bunch of savages. I'm like, y'all nothing but a bunch of savages, even historically and presently, sir. I just, I just happen to notice everything that they try and stereotype black Americans is nothing more than a confession. It's nothing more than a projection. Because in this video, this black guy who has a job, who's do trying to do his job, is viciously and just aggressively attacked by some random, by, uh, I guess uh, maybe the boat owner or a boat friend, I don't know, we're still waiting for the details, but, but the dude just attacks him. And I'm thinking to myself, yo, if this was not on video, can you imagine what the narrative would have been? Can you imagine what the narrative would have been? Because I'm sure they're trying to do it already. Trying to exert, you know, uh, edit little cuts of the video and be like, oh, look, see, this is what's going on. Little Timmy, that's going to be little Timmy. You know they're going to do that, bro. They always do that propaganda. And I'm sure it's going to spread over Twitter. I'm sorry. X. Stupid. Nevertheless, can you imagine? So I will, I always had, you know, a frowning opinion on sometimes uh, people recording stuff. So I'm like, yo, stop recording. Go help. All right. But not everyone, once again, not everyone has their, their part to play in the fight. Not everyone can be a foot soldier, okay? Because if everyone's a foot soldier, who is going to give them intel? So it's, there's, there's, everyone has their part to play. And this guy just pushes this dude, guy throws up the hat, and I've seen all the memes. memes. <laughs> this is going to be a universal a war cry for black Americans. That's what I'm saying. A universal war cry for black people. Hey, that's why I wear a cap, okay? This man beat me to it. Because I know that now I know at any time, okay, just like a safety jacket or a parachute when you jump out of the plane, all right, I'm just going to be like, you know what? I'm in trouble. <sighs> I'm going to throw it up. <laughs> I'm going to throw it up. I expect every black person who has seen it, okay, it's going to be like a flare. But for black people, you know how they do the flares when they get lost being nosy? on the islands and in the forest and stuff, but it's going to be for a black person. Every black people, every black person should wear a cap, okay? Especially everyone, all right? Everyone, at least have it in your purse, okay? Just have it in your purse next to your nine. Just, you know what? This doesn't call for, for a nine. This calls for the black cap. We just throw it up in the air, all right? Kind of like the black converse, okay? They go hand in hand. That's what I think should happen. But bruh, he threw it up and then they bum rush him. 
Now you know, or maybe you don't know, but what many of these racists love to say is like, oh, how come they can never fight alone, okay? Why is it never a one-on-one? -on -one? And I'm like, once again, everything they say is nothing more than a projection. When, when have they ever, as far as in the history of this country, fought alone? Hmm? That you have these other fools just come out of nowhere. Bruh, then the black guy saw what was going on up on top. He comes down, bruh, dude starts swimming. He hopped off the ferry. I want you to understand all this. All this happened due to privilege. That's what, that, that's what it came down to. It, due to it, it came down to, hey, you were ass, told to move your boat because they were trying to dock the ferry. And they had an attitude about it. And I'm just, I'm like, can you understand how entitled you have to be to have a ferry with a bunch of people who are, and they just tell you, hey, can you just move your boat? Like, what are you doing? We're trying to dock. And you, are, and you get upset about it? And then you're the one who's the aggressor in the situation? That's just, I don't know what to tell. My mind can't even wrap around that sense of entitlement and privilege. I, I, I just, it can't. I'm sorry, it just can't. I, I, I can't empathize, sympathize. I can't even think how someone would even do something like that. Nevertheless, that's what all this stems around. And then the dude jumps off the ferry, starts swimming. That's why, now black people, that, I didn't like that part. I'll be honest with you. I didn't like that part when he started swimming because I was like, yo, you can't let them know all of our, our, all of our tactics, right? You can't let them know all of our secrets, bruh, okay? Let them think that we can't swim. Let, let, let them think we can't swim. We got that, that's, that's, you know, that's our ace, bruh. That's our ace. Like, what? All right, when you put it out in times of need and, and despair. But this dude was swimming. He was swimming for that work. I saw the memes in them. They're calling him Aquamane. <laughs> <I'm re> <laughs> Aquamane. Bruh, hilarious. Then they started running off to the boat. And then everyone came. Because I don't know what they thought was going to happen. I don't know why you think you can just beat up a security guard and then just go run away. Because you know they were probably calling victim. You know they were screaming victim. Why are y'all here? We didn't do anything. Oh my God, what's happening? You know how much uh, you know these mofos love to throw stones and then hide their hands. Just what? I didn't do it. What's going on? Why do you think it's me? Everybody came. And there was a dude who was skipping. Now, I don't know what to tell you. He was skipping and pulling up his pants. If Let me just say this. If anyone starts to pull up their pants while talking to you, go the other way, bro. Don't even... Go the other way, but don't turn your back, right? Walk back step. Like, hey, what's going on? I'm sorry, man. What's it, right? Back step. When they start to pull up your pants, now, if they start to skip and pull up the pants, sir, I would just break out the Bible, okay? I would just <laughs> I would break out the Bible, tell them it's a prank. I don't care what you have to say. Say you got a family. Say you're a student. I don't know what, say, I don't know what you have to say. Say you're trans. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you know. Don't, I'm, don't hit me, I'm trans, unless you, unless you want a uh, hate crime on your hands, right? I don't know, uh, uh, say something to get you out of it, because it is game over. It's a wrap, okay? It is finito, okay? That's what's about to happen. They were, this one dude was skipping, they all run up on the dude on the boat. I, I, I just don't understand that. Like, why do you think this is over? It's not over. You go and do something like that, yeah, there's definitely going to be backup. And sure enough, the the, the Bro, they get into it. They get into it. And the, the chair, the chair, <laughs> this dude, dude had a chair. Bop, bink, bop, bink, boop, bop, bink, bop, boop. And this, and then goes and slams it <laughs> on this. I hate to laugh because she was on the ground getting stomped out. She, ah, ah, and he goes, bink. And the police was like, okay, I'm, uh, I was, I was, he was, let, he was letting some of them slide. Like, yo, get out of here, bro. Get out of here. But when he went bank right on the woman's head, he, I got to arrest you, bro. I can't, <laughs> I can't, bro, if I don't arrest you, I'm going to get, I'm going to get fired, bro. Come on, turn around, bro. I got to, come on now, stop it. That, I'm not going to lie. That was awesome. That, that was amazing. <laughs> it was good to see that. But if we could somehow bottle that energy, that passion, you know, into, to, to, activities and events that can have a ripple effect in the community or a long lasting impact in the community, man, bro, I'm telling you, untouchable, untouchable, all right? It's as simple as that, untouchable. But this video, bro, it was hilarious. And I just, I think 
every once in a while we need something like this just to, you know, give some of these mofos a friendly reminder, right? Just to give them a friendly reminder like, hey, we, we're not where you are, but we're not out of this yet. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, well, actually, there is no whether or not, okay? This was awesome. This is what should have happened. This is what will happen. And this is what will continue to happen. So keep that in mind. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree with the video, you're more than welcome to call during disagreement dates, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, guys, be amazing. Aquaman. <laughs> I'm free.